Welcome to SourceFed, I'm Steve Zaragoza. This is Buy or Die, Far Cry 3, Blood Dragon Edition. What? All right, first of all, this game is badass. How badass, you ask? 80s and 90s action movie glory days, badass. Michael Bean is the voice of the f***ing main guy, badass, and that's enough said. Uh, what, you don't believe me this game is tits? Well then check out the damn trailer, mother It is the near future. The apocalypse has had an apocalypse. A rogue cyborg army is reshaping the world into cyber hell. This game is set in a dystopian 2007, a future familiarly envisioned in most 80s era action movies. Game developer Ubisoft describes the game as an 80s VHS vision of the future, where you can get the girl, kill the baddies, and save the world. Ugh. Far Cry. In the game, Earth, oh wait. In the game, Earth has been ravaged by nuclear war and new paths for peace must be found. In other words, it's badass. You sick of hearing me say badass? Cool, I'm not sick of saying it yet. Far Cry. The game plays a standard FPS fair. You run around and shoot shit. Inverted or non, sniping, blasting, grenading, and shooting dudes in the fucking face. Oh, also I forgot to mention there's giant lizards that shoot lasers out of their mouths. Yeah. I was instantly in love with this game from the very first cutscene. Everything harkens back to the old 8-bit still frame exposition days. I love how the loading screen is just a tracking bar and then there's all the VHS lines everywhere. And having grown up watching movies like Terminator, Robocop, Predator, and Over the Top, Commando, all that shit, I was sold on the harsh, hot, pink, neon color scheme. Also, the music is awesome. It's a callback to the old synth amazingness when John Carpenter was tickling them plastics, making music for movies way before you were even a smooch on your dad's short pants. You know what? This game is like what Duke Nukem Forever could have been and should have been, but too bad Duke Nukem Forever, because this game did it first. And I hope there's more of this game. Like seriously, Ubisoft, make more. You know what? Let's just push for a whole new genre of gaming. Let's call it Neo 80s, or VHS Core, or Acid Wash, or Neon Gen. Point being, the style in this game alone makes it worth the $15 price tag. Yeah, that's right, I said it. It's 15 bucks for this Neo 80s sh so, what are the other sites saying? Well, let's take a gander. Right off the bat, IGN gave it an 8.0 saying, Blood Dragon pulls off its wacky jokes and silly tone while giving us a hero so overpowered and stupidly hilarious that I couldn't help but have a hell of a lot of fun with the whole thing. Joystick gave it a 9.0, Game Informer gave it an 8.5, Polygon gave it an 8.0, and Destructoid gave it a 7.0 saying, A game this delightfully stupid can only make the world a better place, and I sincerely hope this isn't the last we see of Rex Colt. I agree, dude. Let's go outside and have a high five about it and go to the beach and check out some hard bodies. So all those juicy scores bring this game to an overall average of 8.1, and that's mighty fine and fucking awesome. In closing, I give this game a definite buy, and at 15 bucks, you cannot go wrong, my friend. The game is out today on PSN, and it comes out everywhere else tomorrow. Ugh. Far Cry 3. Don't forget to click that like button, mother Also, there's a subscribe button. It makes it so that you can subscribe to our channel, and every time there's a new video, you'll get it in your subscription box and you'll get an email that says, hey, hey, mother there's a new video on this channel. Also, if you click that annotation, you'll see all sorts of awesome videos we've done from 1999 and beyond. Uh, I'm Steve Zaragoza. Time for a Far Cry 3 Dragon Blood montage! Fuck you. Sergeant Rex Colt is leading the battle between good and evil as it's never been fought before. He's on a desperate mission.